Good morning and welcome back to the 710 experiment. I'm Gus. This is my cat eye Silverado. And since you last seen it, let me see. I got uh, got some new wheels. Got some new front brakes. Did some slotted and drilled rotors. And I did have to rebuild a transmission for it. Uh, the trans for those of you guys who don't know, the transmission went out. I don't know about six months ago. I found a core. Dad and I rebuilt it. We got the thing put in. We made a test drive. The radiator exploded. So we put a new radiator in it. And now I'm going to be putting a headliner in the truck. I've got most of the headliner pulled out. Oops. Most of it pulled out, but it, it's falling out. That's why I'm redoing the headliner. And it looks, just looks awful. So I'm going to get this thing pulled out and update you as soon as I start recovering it. Now that the old headliner is out, I can take and scrape off all of the old adhesive and foam backing and get the backboard prepped for some new fabric.
I had to cut the video a little short because it tried to start raining on me, but I think it turned out pretty good all in all you know, for somebody that doesn't do this professionally. Uh, get this thing stuck back up in the truck. Uh, if you guys are interested, what I used, I uh, had a series of plastic brushes, wire brushes, and some Loctite spray adhesive. The Loctite spray adhesive is something I haven't used before. I usually use 3M, but my local store was out of that. Well, I got the headliner back in. I ended up changing the sun visors out. I had those in it, and I had put the 99-2000 sun visors back in it. I think they look a lot better in there. Uh, while I was in there, I decided I was going to go ahead and put my matching rear speakers in. Um, take a look at it. I actually soldered the factory uh, terminal onto the speaker so that I can plug and unplug just like uh, a factory one. So I'm going to get that last one put in and see how they sound. <laughs> 